name is June Gomez and I'm a contractor by profession. I'm 42 years old and I have three kids. I'm happily married now, but it wasn't like that before I met Jesus Christ in my life. I got my uh, wife pregnant before we got married and to make the long story short, I wasn't really prepared. Along the way, commonly, magasawa, gaaway, no? I tried to put all the blame to her. Lagi ko siyang kinocompare sa iba, sa asawa ng friends ko, sa mother ko. Lagi kong sinasabi na buti pa sila, buti pa sila. Hindi ko alam na I'm, I'm, I'm destroying and really crushing her. Sa so fourth year namin, I was thinking na how to end this all. Ang solution ko lang alam sa isip ko is to run away and get out of the mess. I got really frustrated. I didn't know that one day dadating ang drug addiction. I got trapped to it. Feeling ko, nakakalimutan ko problema ko when I'm really high on drugs. And uh, it happened every day for two years straight. Walang tigil. Everybody was expecting that I would lose my mind kasi talagang iba na yung ugali ko. Siyempre, kakambal na nun. Naubos pera namin until na bankrupt. As in, I really have to find a way and sell some of our stuff para lang may pang, ano, pangkain. So, talaga I messed up. My parents knew about it. Tinreten ako ng father ko that if he can prove na talagang I'm really hooked to drugs, he wants to get rid of me. Hindi na ako pwede mag-manage ng business namin. I cannot touch any money. I cannot even enter their home. Hindi ko pa rin siya ma-realize ma that I, I am the reason why I lost my father's trust and of course my wife who expected the most from me. Until one day, a friend of my wife, she invited Sally to attend the church and uh, honestly, the first month na pag-attend ni Sally doon sa church, I really saw a change in her. I really started to appreciate her. I, I cannot uh, explain uh, how, how will just attending a church will change a person. It attracted me to accept her invitation to go with her. Nung una, marami akong excuse until one time na sabi niya, uh, can I play uh, the, the, the piano for her? So, okay, sumama ako. And then the, the first time I heard God's word, talagang I was touched. And first time I heard, sabi ko, wow, that message is really for me. I was uh, in tears, iyak ako ng iyak. Para bang ako yung pinagprepara nung, nung, nung message. That attracted me to attend again and again and again. I didn't stop the drugs. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya, although medyo nag-melo daw ng konti kasi medyo nakukonsyensya na. I remember December 21 of that year that I knew it was really God moving already. Yung source na pinupuntahan ko ng drugs, instead of asking me if I want to, to take some that day, He asked me, where are you going? Pupunta ka sa church? Can I come with you? I will never forget that day. I just found out me talking to God, sabi ko, Lord, eto na to. I'm a free man. Eto na to. This is the last day that I'm going to set foot on this house dun sa friend ko na yun. I know it was God telling me that that's it, it's over. I'm pulling you out. And uh, that's the last time that the devil is going to destroy you and will touch his hands on you. Not all the problems went away. The big difference is now I know that there is a God who is really fighting for me, giving me the victory I need over relationships, over temptation. Now I don't have to fight alone. From there, lahat na na-restore. Started to get serious with my faith, my reading the Bible. I started to be active in church. I know that I cannot repay God. Hindi ko naman talaga kayang bayaran yung ginawa niya. The best thing that I can do is serve Him. And that's the only way I can show my gratitude to God that He really has taken me out of the mire clay and I will be forever grateful for the new life God has given me. I'm June Gomez. Come build with us.